How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing great. And yes, we are making December standalone full body tracking month or kind of standalone full body tracking month. I know we've made a ton of videos on full body tracking something during the last few weeks. However, you know what? A ton of stuff is coming out and I want to get this into as many people's hands as possible. So what is up everyone? And today I'm going to be showing you how to do full body tracking on your quest using nothing but a webcam and some sort of computing device. It's literally never been easier. So Let's jump right into it. Okay, so let's begin. What do you actually need to get this done? Well, you either need some sort of cheaper webcam that will be able to track your tracking, or you will need some sort of phone. And while people have been telling me they actually have old Android phones that they would like to use for something like a wo track, but the phones don't have the sensors needed, which comes as a really big surprise to me. I didn't know that phones can not have those sensors. Most phones are probably going to have a webcam. And yes, to you iPhone users, you can actually also do this. You don't need an Android phone in order to get a webcam running. And you will need some sort of computing device, whether it's a computer, whether it's a laptop, it does not need to be VR ready. It does not need to be able to run VR. It just needs to be able to run a piece of software that will transmit the data from the webcam to the Quest. And there's no way to run this on the Quest currently, but Again, this does not need to be VR ready. It does not need to be powerful whatsoever. So with all that being said, let's jump right in. The software that you are going to require is called Driver for VR. Also, I should mention this software is 15 euro on Steam. However, if you bought it in the past, you can actually exchange your old license for a Steam license. We've actually used Driver for VR to do full body tracking using the Kinect. And you can also use the Kinect for this. It's crazy how many methods have popped up, but today we'll be focusing on the webcam side. So fire up Steam as the software is now on Steam and download Driver for VR. Once you have Driver for VR downloaded, you can launch it and select that you want to use the OSC tracker on VR chat. Then it might ask you to install the Steam VR driver. Since we're not using Steam VR, you can completely ignore this and let the software launch. Inside the software, you're going to need to change a few things. First of all, you want to switch from connect tracking right up here to camera tracking. And once you've done that, you want to select the camera you want to use. So now would be a good time to plug in your USB webcam in case you haven't done that already or connect your phone if you're using that as a webcam. If you are using your Android phone, let me show you how you'd get this done. Download a software from the Google Play Store, something along the lines of DroidCam or some sort of webcam software for Android phones. There's plenty. I'll be using IVCam just for this purpose, and it's simply because I've used it before, no preference. Then download the client software. For me, it's the IVCam client software on my PC. If you're using DroidCam, you'd download the DroidCam client software on your PC, all the same, connect the two, make sure everything is running and place your webcam in some place where it's going to see the larger majority of your play space. And once you are transmitting the webcam from your phone to your PC, you're ready to go. Select that in Driver 4 VR, make sure it's all showing up. We've spoken about Android devices. I don't have an iPhone, unfortunately, but downloading this kind of software in an iPhone is basically the exact same as downloading it on an Android. So select the device you want to use as your webcam from this list, and then you will need to grab your Quest's IP address. Now your Quest IP address can be found by going into your Quest, then going into settings, then navigating to Wi-Fi, selecting your Wi-Fi network, clicking on advanced, scrolling down, and grabbing your IP address. Once you have this, input it into the box in Driver 4 VR. This will allow the OSC trackers to be transmitted to VR chat. Once you've done that, you can click on show preview in case you want to see what the camera sees and click on start. Now would be a good time to launch your quest. So let's do that and hop into VR chat. And yes, we are using the fully standalone version of VR chat for this. You do not need any PC to run the actual version of VR chat, but you do need the open beta for VR chat that is available in App Lab, which I will leave a link to down below. It's really simple to install. You just install it like you would any other quest app because it is an official quest app. Now inside this beta version of VR chat, you have to use a VR chat account to log in. You cannot use your Oculus account. So go ahead and do that and jump into the game. Now, once you're in the game, you're going to want to enable OSC trackers. This is super simple. You just use the action menu on your right hand, navigate to OSC and enable OSC 
tracking. It's that simple. Now, once you have OSC enabled, you'll want to make sure that you enable full body tracking inside the menu, or else you won't get this extra menu show up. Once all your trackers have spawned in, you might notice that they are probably not facing the exact correct direction. Fixing this is super simple. All you do is you launch your VR chat menu, scroll down a little bit, and click auto recenter OSC. Now, while doing this, you want to spread your legs out just a little bit and face forwards towards the camera. This will recenter your OSC trackers and make them face in the correct direction. Do keep in mind, if you're using a phone webcam, you might need to mirror the image inside the settings of the phone webcam app if your legs are still flipped after this. This is something I actually had to do, and it's just a little tip. What I've also found is the software seems to work better if you have your phone in portrait mode instead of in landscape mode. Not sure why that is, but also something I found. In this menu, I've also set my trackers to system, so I would recommend you do that as well. Now, before moving on to calibrating your full body tracking, you want to make sure your height is set correctly inside driver 4 VR. As you can see here, you can change the height. And the only reason you would change the height is if the trackers were appearing inside the floor in game. So just make sure that's correct and move on to the next step. Now move around your legs, your hips, and all the other parts of your body that you now have access to. And if you notice that they are flipped or moving in the wrong direction, click that reset OSC button once again. That should flip the direction and hopefully fix whichever way you're facing. And then you can move on to calibrating full body tracking for your avatar. So that's just as simple as clicking on calibrate full body and then doing the little T pose. Once you've done that, I also like to have my calibration visuals on so that they tell me if everything is working correctly. We can see that they definitely do work. Like I can move my leg to the side. I can move my other leg to the side. Uh, I can move my hips to the side, like I can dance. There's a lot and a lot of drift. But if you see what my PC is actually showing you right now, on the PC, it looks a lot better and a lot more detail than VR chat seems to be receiving. So I'm hoping that the software can get better over time and receive more data from the software. Like for example, the knees, I think the knees would greatly help out here. The tracking is much more accurate. Like for example, if I take out my chair and sit on it inside the PC software, you will see that it actually knows that I'm sitting. It's crazy how accurate this gets. But unfortunately, that doesn't exactly translate to VR chat. And this is by no means perfect. You will spend multiple minutes calibrating this and getting it to work. And once you get it to work, it will still not be 100% perfect because all that data that the PC is gathering is apparently not getting transmitted there for some reason, but it works. And that part is amazing. The fact that we can get full body tracking with just a webcam is pretty darn incredible. With OSC now being available on VR chat to Quest users and full finger tracking being available to Quest users in VR chat, they're going crazy with the updates and the support. It's incredible to see how far this has progressed. And hopefully this method, which is hopefully again, available to a much wider audience because you know, it's super cheap. You can get a webcam for super cheap, or you probably have a phone with a webcam already is going to allow even more users to hop into VR chat using full body tracking on the quest. And when more apps start supporting OSC as well, like for example, Blade and Sorcerer, or Beat Saber, all those apps could get full body tracking in the form of a mod using OSC. All of these methods are going to work in the exact same way as they do right now. It's just going to be a different game. It's incredible how many methods are coming out and you bet I'm gonna be bringing you more of them. And in the next video or a few videos later, I will hopefully show you how to use the Kinect in case you have that to get OSC tracking working on your quest. Now, uh, my Kinect is currently broken, which is why I can't show that to you right now, but I will do my very best to fix it and hopefully we will get somewhere with that. So hopefully this tutorial helped you out Hopefully you learned something new and hopefully I'll be seeing you in VR chat with full body tracking when we do our next meetup. Now, the unfortunate thing is yesterday I failed. I didn't live stream for the 12 days. I was incredibly tired. Yesterday was a super tiring day. There was, there was a lot to get done and I did a lot. And unfortunately, I just, I did not feel capable or comfortable streaming yesterday. So uh, yeah, I, I guess I didn't see that coming when I said we'll be streaming for 12 days. So I just want to apologize here for that. But if you guys like this video, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too. But let me know why down in the comment section below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below and check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spicy memes. Thank you so much to all the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions, and helping me make these videos better. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified, 
to find out about extra content coming up on the channel. Make sure to smack that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.